Michael back there behind me with his mini truck, but we're gonna go pick something up. Another mini item for the mini trucks. All right, so we're checking out these mini bikes. Michael's, <laughs> you can see some like weird paint. This one's been dumped. Yeah, they've all had tractor paint put they've on them. They've been re repaired. This one, they even painted over the Made in China sticker. So you can see uh, the spotty little crusty welds on some of these things. I've seen people jump in these too, man. So I don't think many people are like scrutinizing <laughs> the welds as much as he and I are gonna look at them, you know? But uh, if we can get one that's that looks like it's it's zapped together a little better than the others, I think I'll, I'll pick it. So far, I think these two ones on the end are looking good. I'm Kesher and I have a Christmas. So we're at the farm store. We just paid for the mini bikes. Got both trucks to load them up in. Out. Where's one? Dude, owner's manual? <laughs> Here comes Michaels. First mini bike I've ever had and one of them when I was a kid, now I'm 41. Finally got my first mini bike. <laughs> you did it before me. I'm like 45 or 46. <laughs> yeah, somewhere in there. <laughs> I don't have any buyer's remorse about the mini truck, and I'm pretty sure that these mini bikes are going to be uh, <laughs> kind of the same way, man. They feel pretty fun. Doesn't My only regret out. is we have to go back to work and finish our work day, dude. I just want to like... <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to buy on a lunch break and know you got another five hours of work before hey, you can really... Do you have any sick days left? <laughs> Maybe not always the most sensible purchases, but uh, I don't see how you could go wrong with a mini bike and a mini truck. Like that seems like a really good combination. Where are we going, Stace? Get me one. <laughs> You're at work. <laughs> she didn't even know I had her for like a week. Cause I was at work. Right. Show me the money. Mini Harleys. These little hogs. <laughs> <laughs> so they're clearing out pretty fast, but there are two orange ones left. One. That one. All right, let's yeah, go pay for this thing. It. There's your VIN number. You got it running and everything. It all works. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Another mini bike in the back. <laughs> yeah, turn your gas all the way to on. Now that's your choke. Yeah. Turn that over to here. And then grab the pull starter and give it a just pull. There you go. Good. Pull me. Pull me. Camping gear and mini bikes. So we ordered mini bike exhausts and I think Stace went the sensible route and ordered one with a muffler on it. Welds actually look pretty good and the gauge is, is decent, it's a decent thickness. So we ordered three exhausts for the mini bikes and uh, Michael's going to show you what his ended up looking like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you want to throw the muffler. 
<laughs> if you don't want paint on your frame, this is a good way to go. To blow right on it. And somebody was really thinking oh through goodness. that one. Look at the flow through on that one. I don't know if you can see the, it doesn't go through. There's a there's a plate there that's solid and a bunch of weird holes drilled that don't really work like baffles. And These are like not even drilled, they're more like they're just so punctured crusty, through dude. the metal. Yeah, it looks like somebody jammed a nail through it. Well, here you go. Yeah, that actually would probably be the better yeah. bet, you know? <laughs> and then here's the one Stacy ordered. So that one lines up pretty good. Okay, so if you do a muffler or an, an exhaust on yours, make sure this gasket was hanging so far over the exhaust port that I, I trimmed it all out. It was pretty bad. Uh, it was pretty restrictive. It is a little louder and it definitely, I think it's running a little bit leaner. So I need to get that other carb on and get it jetted, but uh, you can check it. <laughs> we almost dropped that washer. Nice work. Sounds good. Sounds quiet. Yeah, take it for a rip. Good. Good. Got it. What you got there? A nail. So I was riding my mini bike and it was sounding pretty nasty on the uh, pull start side. So I took the flywheel off right here, the components. And underneath this bolt had loosened up and was hitting inside the flywheel. So it sounded pretty bad. It was kind of random. It would just come on and off. So something to consider. Uh, if you hear some nasty sounds coming from yours, you might want to take a look under there because I don't think these have Loctite on them and uh, you might want to get some Loctite on them on your own Coleman mini bike. This is just the stock high sun motor that I'm going to be replacing pretty soon anyway with uh, something a little gnarlier. All right, we're 
doubles, doubles on this mini bike. That crash, Stace. I thought you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> was that chunk of kelp got me? I like hit it and just bucked the back end. And that was like I think my front wheel down there. That was your front wheel. And then the final resting spot was over there. Did you I know you got a rip back here? I think the coat's just about done. <laughs> we made it. Yeah. Beach ride. Mini biking. And yeah, Dad's mobile bike repair. Yeah. So it was fun. We rallied the beach, ripped around on the dunes. But uh, check this out. Fortunately, we snapped the end of the crankshaft off that uh, holds the clutch. So this motor's going to need a new crank. Whatever. We'll get one. They're cheap. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. It was worth it. <laughs> All right, we're testing the Ghost 212 and the Max Torque 224.